Step into the enchanting realm of Storytime Haven, where tales come alive with every word spoken. Here, beneath the canopy of imagination, we embark on journeys of wonder and discovery. From the echoes of ancient myths to the whispers of fantastical adventures, let us weave a tapestry of magic together. So settle in, dear friends, as we unlock the door to endless possibilities and dive into the boundless depths of storytelling delight. Once upon a time, in the heart of a dense forest, there lived a bear family unlike any other. At the heart of this family was a young cub named Prince Ursus. Now, you might wonder what makes a bear cub a prince. Well, Ursus was born into royalty, his lineage traced back through generations of noble bears who ruled over their woodland kingdom with grace and wisdom. From the moment Ursus came into the world, he was showered with love and adoration. His parents, King Grizzler and Queen Furiana, doted on him endlessly, their hearts overflowing with pride for their precious cub. The entire kingdom celebrated his arrival, for it was said that he would one day inherit the throne and lead his subjects with strength and compassion. Ursus was no ordinary bear cub. Even as a tiny ball of fur, he possessed a spirit as fierce as his ancestors and a curiosity that knew no bounds. He spent his days exploring the lush forests, chasing butterflies, and frolicking in the sun-dappled meadows under the watchful gaze of his parents. But as fate would have it, one fateful day, tragedy struck the royal family. During a routine excursion into the depths of the forest, a sudden and violent storm swept through the land, tearing Ursus away from his parents in a whirlwind of chaos and confusion. Separated from his family, the young prince found himself alone in the vast wilderness, his heart heavy with fear and uncertainty. The familiar sights and sounds of his kingdom faded into the distance as he ventured deeper into the unknown, his only companions the whispering winds and the rustling leaves. As the storm raged on, Prince Ursus found himself swept away from the comforting embrace of his family, lost in a whirlwind of chaos and confusion. The howling winds tore through the forest, drowning out his cries for help as he struggled to find his bearings amidst the darkness. Alone and afraid, Ursus stumbled through the tangled underbrush, his heart pounding with fear as he searched desperately for any sign of his loved ones. But try as he might, the young prince found himself utterly lost, the familiar landmarks of his kingdom fading into the distance with each passing moment. With each step he took, Ursus felt a sense of unease creeping over him, the once familiar sights and sounds of the forest now transformed into a labyrinth of shadows and whispers. But amidst the chaos, a glimmer of hope flickered within him, driving him forward despite the overwhelming odds. Driven by instinct and determination, Ursus pressed on through the darkness, his senses sharp and alert as he navigated the treacherous terrain of the wilderness. Every rustle of leaves, every distant sound sent a shiver down his spine, but he refused to let fear consume him. And then, just when all seemed lost, a faint light appeared in the distance, casting a warm glow amidst the gloom. With renewed hope coursing through his veins, Ursus followed the beacon of light, his heart racing with anticipation as he drew closer to his destination. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Ursus emerged from the depths of the forest into a small clearing bathed in moonlight. And there, standing before him, was a wise old owl perched atop a gnarled oak tree, its eyes gleaming with ancient wisdom. Welcome, young prince, the owl hooted solemnly its voice echoing through the night. I have been expecting you. Startled but relieved, Ursus approached the wise old owl, his eyes wide with wonder as he realized that he was not alone in his journey. As Prince Ursus stood before the wise old owl perched atop the ancient oak tree, he couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder. The owl's eyes gleamed with an otherworldly wisdom, and its presence seemed to fill the clearing with an air of tranquility. Who... Who are you? Ursus stammered, his voice barely above a whisper as he gazed up at the majestic bird. I am known as Oak Feather, the guardian of these woods, the owl replied, its voice resonating with a soothing melody that seemed to calm Ursus's racing heart. Ursus felt a surge of relief wash over him at the owl's words, grateful for the company of such a wise and noble creature in his time of need. I am Prince Ursus, he introduced himself puffing out his chest with pride despite the lingering uncertainty in his heart. I... I seem to have lost my way. 
Can you help me find my family? Oakfeather regarded Ursus with a knowing gaze, as if peering into the depths of his soul. Your journey is a long and perilous one, young prince. The owl cautioned, its voice grave with solemnity. But fear not, for I shall be your guide through the trials that lie ahead. With a gentle flap of its wings, Oakfeather descended from its perch and landed gracefully before Ursus. Its feathers ruffling in the cool night breeze. Together, we shall embark on a quest of self-discovery and enlightenment, the owl declared, its eyes sparkling with determination. But first, we must prepare. Come, young prince, and let me show you the way. With Oakfeather as his guide, Prince Ursus embarked on a journey into the unknown, his heart filled with a mix of apprehension and excitement. The forest seemed to come alive around them as they ventured deeper into its depths, the shadows dancing in the flickering light of the moon. Where are we going? Ursus asked, his voice tinged with curiosity as he followed Oakfeather's graceful flight through the trees. We are headed towards the heart of the wilderness, young prince, the wise old owl replied, its wings beating steadily as they soared through the night sky. There, you will find the answers you seek and the strength to face whatever challenges may come your way. As they traveled deeper into the forest, Ursus couldn't shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at his insides. The unfamiliar sights and sounds of the wilderness filled him with a sense of foreboding, but he pushed aside his fears, determined to prove himself worthy of his noble lineage. Along the way, Oakfeather regaled Ursus with tales of ancient legends and forgotten lore, weaving a tapestry of wonder and mystery that captured the young prince's imagination. With each passing moment, Ursus felt himself growing stronger and more determined, his resolve hardened by the knowledge that he was not alone in his quest. As the first light of dawn began to peek over the horizon, Ursus and Oakfeather came upon a tranquil meadow bathed in the soft glow of morning. The air was filled with the sweet scent of wildflowers, and the sound of birdsong echoed through the trees. This is where our journey truly begins, young prince, Oakfeather declared, its eyes sparkling with anticipation. Are you ready to face the challenges that lie ahead? Ursus nodded, his heart filled with a newfound sense of purpose. With Oakfeather by his side, he knew that anything was possible. As Prince Ursus and Oakfeather ventured further into the wilderness, their journey was interrupted by a rustling in the bushes nearby. Ursus tensed, ready to defend himself against whatever creature lurked in the shadows. But Oakfeather remained calm, its wise eyes scanning the underbrush with a keen gaze. Suddenly, a small figure darted out from the bushes, causing Ursus to jump back in surprise. It was a squirrel, its fur a vibrant shade of red, its eyes wide with fear as it skittered across the forest floor. Wait, Ursus called out, reaching out a paw to stop the frightened creature. We mean you no harm? The squirrel paused, its tiny chest heaving as it looked up at Ursus with wary eyes. Who are you? It asked, its voice trembling with uncertainty. I am Prince Ursus, and this is my friend, Oakfeather, Ursus replied, gesturing to the wise old owl perched on his shoulder. We are on a journey to find my family. What brings you to these woods? The squirrel hesitated for a moment before speaking, its gaze darting nervously between Ursus and Oakfeather. My name is Scurry, it said finally, its voice barely above a whisper. I i am just trying to survive out here on my own. The forest can be a dangerous place, especially for someone as small as me. Ursus's heart went out to the frightened squirrel, and he couldn't help but feel a pang of empathy for its plight. Well, you don't have to be alone anymore, Ursus declared, a warm smile spreading across his face. You can join us on our journey. Together, we'll watch out for each other and face whatever challenges come our way. Scurry's eyes widened in surprise, and for a moment, Ursus feared that it would refuse his offer. But then, to his relief, the squirrel's expression softened, and a small smile tugged at the corners of its mouth. Thank you, Scurry said gratefully, its voice filled with emotion. I would be honored to join you on your quest. As Prince Ursus, Oakfeather, and Scurry continued their journey through the wilderness, they soon found themselves entering a dense and ominous forest where the sunlight struggled to penetrate the thick canopy of towering trees. Shadows danced among the twisted branches, and an eerie silence hung in the air. 
broken only by the rustling of leaves and the occasional hoot of a distant owl, Ursus couldn't shake the feeling of unease that settled over him as they ventured deeper into the darkness. The forest seemed to loom over them like a living, breathing entity, its ancient trees whispering secrets that sent shivers down his spine. This place gives me the creeps, Scurry whispered, its voice barely audible over the sound of their footsteps. I've heard stories about the creatures that dwell in these woods. They say that even the bravest souls dare not venture too far into the shadows. Ursus glanced nervously at Oakfeather, wondering if the wise old owl shared Scurry's fears. But to his surprise, Oakfeather remained stoic, its eyes scanning the darkness with a sense of calm determination. Fear not, young ones, Oakfeather reassured them, its voice steady despite the tension that hung in the air. The darkness may seem daunting, but it is merely a test of our courage and resolve. Together, we will emerge victorious, no matter what dangers may lie ahead. Emboldened by Oakfeather's words, Ursus squared his shoulders and pressed on, determined to prove himself worthy of the title of prince. With each step he took, the darkness seemed to recede ever so slightly, replaced by a glimmer of hope that guided them through the labyrinth of shadows. But just as they thought they had overcome the worst of the darkness, a low growl echoed through the forest, freezing them in their tracks. Ursus's heart raced as he peered into the shadows, his senses on high alert as he searched for the source of the sound. And then, emerging from the darkness like a ghostly specter, a pair of glowing eyes appeared, fixated on Ursus with an intensity that sent a chill down his spine. Who goes there? A deep voice rumbled, its tone laced with menace. Ursus gulped, his courage faltering for the first time since they entered the forest. But before he could respond, Oakfeather stepped forward, its wings outstretched in a gesture of peace. We mean you no harm, the wise old owl declared, its voice ringing out with authority. We are travelers on a quest of great importance. Will you allow us safe passage through your domain? The creature in the shadows hesitated for a moment before stepping forward into the light, revealing itself to be a massive bear its fur as black as midnight and its eyes gleaming with a fierce intelligence. I am Grizzleclaw, guardian of the dark forest, the bear announced, its voice rumbling like thunder. You may pass through my domain, but beware. The forest holds many dangers, and not all who enter emerge unscathed. With a solemn nod, Grizzleclaw stepped aside, allowing Ursus, Oakfeather, and Scurry to continue on their journey. But as they ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, Ursus couldn't shake the feeling that their trials had only just begun, and that the darkness held secrets far more terrifying than anything they could have imagined. As Prince Ursus, Oakfeather, and Scurry ventured deeper into the dark forest, their hearts pounded with a mix of excitement and trepidation. The towering trees seemed to close in around them, casting long shadows that danced in the flickering light of the moon. Despite the looming darkness, Ursus felt a newfound sense of determination coursing through his veins. He knew that the journey ahead would be fraught with peril, but he refused to let fear hold him back. With Oakfeather's wisdom and Scurry's companionship by his side, he felt ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. But as they pressed on, the forest grew increasingly treacherous, its twisted roots and tangled underbrush making each step a struggle. Ursus's muscles ached with exhaustion, and he could feel the weight of the darkness pressing down on him like a heavy cloak. This forest seems endless, Scurry muttered, its voice tinged with frustration as it struggled to keep pace with Ursus and Oakfeather. It's not endless, Scurry, Oakfeather chimed in, its voice calm and reassuring. Every journey has its end, we just need to stay focused and keep moving forward. Encouraged by Oakfeather's words, Ursus pushed himself to press on, his determination outweighing the weariness that threatened to consume him. But just as they thought they had overcome the worst of the darkness, a sudden rustling in the bushes ahead brought them to a halt. Ursus's heart raced as he peered into the shadows, his senses on high alert as he searched for any sign of danger. But to his relief, the source of the noise soon revealed itself to be a small rabbit, its fur a soft shade of brown as it emerged from its hiding place. Please, you must help me. The rabbit cried, its voice trembling with fear as it approached Ursus and his companions. My burrow has been overrun by a pack of hungry wolves, and I fear for the safety of my family. 
Ursus's heart went out to the frightened rabbit, and without hesitation, he stepped forward to offer his assistance. Don't worry, we'll help you, he declared, his voice filled with determination as he turned to Oakfeather and Scurry. We can't let innocent creatures suffer at the hands of those wolves. Let's go. As Prince Ursus, Oakfeather, Scurry, and the Grateful Rabbit ventured deeper into the dark forest, their hearts filled with determination to confront the pack of wolves threatening the safety of the rabbit's family. The air was thick with tension as they followed the rabbit's lead, their senses on high alert for any sign of danger. After what felt like hours of tense anticipation, they finally arrived at the edge of a tranquil clearing, where a shimmering lake lay nestled among the trees. The moonlight danced across its surface, casting a mesmerizing glow that seemed to beckon to them with an otherworldly allure. Wow! Look at that, Scurry exclaimed, its eyes wide with wonder as it gazed upon the enchanting sight before them. I've never seen anything like it. Ursus couldn't help but be captivated by the beauty of the lake, its serene waters reflecting the starry sky above like a mirror. But even as he marveled at the scene before him, he couldn't shake the feeling that there was something more to this place than met the eye. There's something strange about this lake, Oakfeather remarked its voice tinged with caution as it surveyed their surroundings. We must tread carefully, for not all that glitters is gold. Ursus nodded in agreement, his senses on high alert as he scanned the shoreline for any sign of danger. But just as they were about to proceed, a soft voice echoed across the water, sending a shiver down Ursus's spine. Welcome, travelers, the voice murmured, its tone melodic and ethereal. What brings you to my domain? Ursus turned to see a figure emerging from the depths of the lake, its form bathed in a soft, iridescent light. It was a nymph, its shimmering wings unfurling like delicate petals as it hovered above the water, its eyes filled with an ancient wisdom that seemed to pierce straight through Ursus's soul. We mean no harm, Ursus replied, his voice steady despite the unease that gnawed at him from within. We are on a quest to rescue the rabbit's family from a pack of wolves that has taken over their burrow. Can you help us? The nymph regarded Ursus and his companions with a knowing gaze, its expression unreadable as it pondered their request. Very well, the nymph said finally, its voice echoing across the lake like a gentle breeze. I shall grant you safe passage through my domain, but heed my warning. The forest holds many secrets, and not all who enter emerge unscathed. With a graceful gesture, the nymph disappeared beneath the surface of the lake, leaving Ursus and his companions to continue on their journey. And as they set off once more, Ursus couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude for the mystical beings that had aided them on their quest. Little did he know that their encounter with the nymph was just the beginning of a series of trials that would test their courage, their resilience, and their belief in the power of friendship. As Prince Ursus and his companions continued their journey through the enchanted forest, the memory of their encounter with the nymph lingered in their minds, filling them with a sense of wonder and trepidation. The air was thick with anticipation as they followed the nymph's guidance, their hearts pounding with excitement at the prospect of what lay ahead. After what felt like an eternity of winding through the dense foliage, they finally arrived at the shores of the enchanted lake once more. The moonlight cast a soft glow over the water, illuminating the tranquil scene before them as they approached with cautious steps. But as they drew nearer, Ursus couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. He scanned the shoreline for any sign of danger, his senses on high alert for any hidden threats lurking in the shadows. And then, emerging from the depths of the lake, a figure appeared before them. It was a creature unlike any Ursus had ever seen, its form towering and majestic, with antlers that reached towards the sky like branches of an ancient tree. Who dares disturb the sanctity of my domain? The creature boomed, its voice echoing across the water with a commanding presence. Ursus swallowed nervously, his heart pounding in his chest as he stepped forward to address the magnificent being before him. We mean no harm, noble guardian, Ursus declared, his voice steady despite the fear that threatened to consume him. We are travelers on a quest to rescue the rabbit's family from a pack of wolves that has taken over their burrow. <laughs> you help us. The Guardian regarded Ursus and his companions with a gaze that seemed to pierce straight through to their souls. For a moment, there was silence, as if the very air held its breath in anticipation of the creature's response. At last, the Guardian spoke, 
its voice filled with a wisdom that echoed through the forest like a sacred hymn. Your quest is a noble one, young prince, the guardian intoned, its words carrying the weight of centuries of wisdom. I shall grant you the strength and courage you seek, but know this, the path ahead is fraught with danger, and not all who embark upon it emerge unscathed. You must steel yourselves for the trials that lie ahead, for only then will you emerge victorious. With a solemn nod, the guardian disappeared beneath the surface of the lake, leaving Ursus and his companions to continue on their journey. And as they set off once more, Ursus couldn't help but feel a sense of determination burning within him. He knew that the road ahead would be difficult, but with the Guardian's blessing and the unwavering support of his friends, he was ready to face whatever challenges came his way. As Prince Ursus and his companions journeyed deeper into the enchanted forest, the memory of their encounters with the mystical beings of the lake lingered in their minds, filling them with a sense of awe and determination. The path ahead was fraught with uncertainty, but they pressed on with hearts full of courage and hope. After traversing through dense thickets and winding trails, they came upon a sight that filled them with both wonder and trepidation, the towering silhouette of a forbidding mountain rising ominously against the horizon. Its jagged peaks seemed to pierce the very heavens, casting a shadow that stretched across the land like a shroud. Is that the forbidden mountain? Scurry asked, its voice trembling with apprehension as it gazed up at the imposing structure before them. Ursus nodded solemnly, his eyes fixed on the distant summit. Yes, it is, he replied, his voice filled with determination. Legend has it that the mountain is home to powerful forces and ancient secrets. If we are to uncover the truth about my family and our quest, we must journey to its peak. With Oakfeather leading the way, they began their ascent, their footsteps echoing against the rocky terrain as they climbed ever higher towards the mountain's summit. The air grew thinner with each step, and the wind howled fiercely against the cliffs, threatening to knock them off their feet. But despite the challenges they faced, Ursus and his companions pressed on, their spirits undeterred by the harsh conditions. For they knew that the answers they sought lay at the top of the mountain, and they were determined to reach them no matter the cost. As they climbed, they encountered obstacles at every turn, treacherous ravines, sheer cliffs, and ferocious beasts that guarded the mountain's secrets with a fierce determination. But, with teamwork and determination, they overcame each challenge, growing stronger with every step they took. And finally, after what felt like an eternity of climbing, they reached the summit of the Forbidden Mountain. The air was still, and a sense of solemnity filled the air as they stood upon the highest peak, gazing out at the world below with a newfound sense of wonder and awe. But their moment of triumph was short-lived, for as they looked out across the horizon, they realized that their journey was far from over. Below them, stretching out as far as the eye could see, lay a vast and mysterious land filled with untold wonders and dangers beyond imagining. Standing atop the summit of the Forbidden Mountain, Prince Ursus and his companions gazed out at the vast expanse of land stretched out before them. The landscape below was a patchwork of forests, rivers, and mountains, with the sun casting its golden light across the horizon like a blanket of warmth. Wow, look at that view, Scurry exclaimed, its eyes wide with wonder as it took in the breathtaking sight before them. I never imagined we'd make it all the way up here. Ursus couldn't help but feel a surge of pride at their accomplishment. Despite the many challenges they had faced along the way, they had persevered, overcoming every obstacle that stood in their path. But their moment of triumph was short-lived, for as they surveyed the land below, they realized that their journey was far from over. In the distance, they could see a series of towering peaks rising ominously against the horizon, their slopes shrouded in mist and mystery. The trials of the mountain are not yet complete, Oakfeather intoned solemnly, its voice carrying the weight of centuries of wisdom. To uncover the truth about your family and your quest, you must conquer the challenges that lie ahead. Ursus nodded in agreement his resolve hardened by the knowledge that their greatest trial still lay ahead. With Oakfeather leading the way, they began their descent from the summit, their hearts filled with a mix of determination and apprehension. As they journeyed deeper into the heart of the mountain, they encountered obstacles at every turn, treacherous ravines, icy cliffs, and fierce creatures that lurked in the shadows. 
But with courage in their hearts and the unwavering support of each other, they pressed on, refusing to be deterred by the dangers that surrounded them. And then, just when they thought they had overcome the worst of the mountain's challenges, they came upon a series of trials unlike anything they had faced before. Each trial tested their strength, their courage, and their wisdom, pushing them to their limits in ways they could never have imagined. But despite the hardships they endured, Ursus and his companions emerged victorious, their spirits unbroken by the trials they had faced. And as they reached the foothills of the mountain once more, they knew that they were one step closer to uncovering the truth about Ursus's family and their quest. As Prince Ursus and his companions descended from the treacherous slopes of the Forbidden Mountain, they found themselves entering a lush and verdant valley hidden deep within the heart of the wilderness. The air was filled with the sweet scent of wildflowers, and the sound of trickling streams echoed through the trees. Wow, this place is beautiful, Scurry remarked, its eyes wide with wonder as it took in the breathtaking scenery surrounding them. I never would have imagined that such a peaceful place could exist in the midst of all this danger. Ursus couldn't help but agree. The hidden valley seemed like a paradise untouched by the trials and tribulations of the outside world, a sanctuary where nature flourished in all its glory. But as they journeyed deeper into the valley, they soon realized that there was more to this place than met the eye. Strange whispers filled the air, and shadows danced among the trees, as if the very land itself held secrets waiting to be uncovered. We're getting close, Oakfeather remarked, its voice tinged with anticipation as they approached a clearing at the heart of the valley. The answers we seek lie ahead. With hearts pounding with excitement, Ursus and his companions stepped into the clearing, their eyes scanning their surroundings for any sign of what awaited them. And then, emerging from the shadows, a figure appeared before them. It was a fox, its fur a rich shade of red, its eyes gleaming with a wisdom that seemed to transcend time itself. Greetings, travelers, the fox greeted them, its voice smooth and melodious. I am Reynard, guardian of the Hidden Valley. What brings you to this sacred place? Ursus stepped forward, his heart racing with anticipation as he addressed the wise old fox. We seek answers about my family and our quest, he explained, his voice steady despite the uncertainty that gnawed at him from within. Can you help us? Reynard regarded Ursus and his companions with a knowing gaze, as if peering into the depths of their souls. The answers you seek lie within the heart of the valley, the fox replied cryptically. But be warned, not all who seek the truth emerge unscathed. You must tread carefully, for the secrets of the valley are not easily uncovered. With a nod of acknowledgement, Ursus and his companions set off once more, their hearts filled with determination as they ventured deeper into the heart of the hidden valley. Little did they know that their journey was far from over, and that the trials that lay ahead would test their courage, their resilience, and their belief in the power of friendship. As Prince Ursus and his companions delved deeper into the hidden valley, they found themselves confronted with a series of challenges unlike any they had faced before. The air hummed with an otherworldly energy, and the landscape seemed to shift and change before their very eyes. Their next trial came in the form of a shimmering pool nestled among the trees, its surface reflecting the surrounding scenery like a mirror. But as Ursus approached, he realized that there was something strange about the pool, for instead of his own reflection, he saw the faces of his loved ones staring back at him, their expressions filled with sorrow and longing. What? What is this? Ursus exclaimed, his voice trembling with emotion as he gazed into the pool. Why are they here? Oakfeather regarded the pool with a knowing gaze, its eyes shimmering with ancient wisdom. This is the trial of reflection, the wise old owl explained. It tests the strength of your resolve and the depth of your commitment to your quest. Only those who can face their past with courage and humility will emerge victorious. Ursus nodded solemnly, steeling himself for what lay ahead. With a deep breath, he stepped forward and reached out to touch the surface of the pool, his heart pounding with anticipation as he braced himself for what was to come. As his paw made contact with the water, the surface of the pool rippled and shimmered, and Ursus felt a strange sensation wash over him. Memories flooded his mind of his family, his kingdom, and the events that had led him to this moment. But amidst the pain and sorrow, Ursus also felt a glimmer of hope. 
a determination to press on despite the challenges that lay ahead. For he knew that his quest was not just about uncovering the truth about his family, but also about finding himself and his place in the world. And as Ursus gazed into the pool, he saw his reflection change before his eyes, from a lost and frightened cub to a brave and determined prince, ready to face whatever trials lay ahead with courage and resilience. With a renewed sense of purpose, Ursus turned away from the pool and faced his companions, a confident smile spreading across his face. I am ready, he declared, his voice ringing out with determination. Let us continue our journey, for there is still much to discover and many challenges to overcome. Together, we will emerge victorious. As Prince Ursus and his companions continued their journey through the hidden valley, they soon came upon a place unlike any they had seen before. The air was filled with a soft, ethereal glow, and the ground was carpeted with a lush carpet of vibrant flowers that seemed to shimmer with a life of their own. What is this place? Scurry asked in awe, its eyes wide with wonder as it took in the breathtaking scenery surrounding them. This is the Garden of Whispers, Oakfeather explained, its voice hushed with reverence. A place of beauty and mystery, where the secrets of the valley are whispered on the wind. Ursus felt a sense of awe wash over him as he stepped into the garden, his senses filled with the sweet scent of the flowers and the gentle rustle of the leaves in the breeze. But amidst the tranquility, he couldn't shake the feeling that there was something more to this place than met the eye. As they wandered deeper into the garden, they soon came upon a towering tree at its center, its branches reaching towards the sky like fingers grasping for the heavens. And beneath its canopy, they found a figure seated upon a stone throne, its form obscured by the shadows. Who... who are you? Ursus asked, his voice barely above a whisper as he approached the figure. The figure remained silent for a moment before speaking, its voice soft and melodic like the whisper of the wind through the trees. I am the guardian of the garden, it replied, its words echoing through the air with a sense of solemnity. I have watched over this place for centuries, safeguarding its secrets from those who would seek to exploit its power. Ursus felt a shiver run down his spine at the figure's words, a sense of foreboding settling over him like a dark cloud. We mean you no harm. He assured the guardian, his voice steady, despite the unease that gnawed at him from within. We seek only the truth about my family and our quest. Can you help us? The guardian regarded Ursus and his companions with a gaze that seemed to pierce straight through to their souls. The answers you seek lie within the heart of the garden, the guardian replied cryptically. But be warned, not all who enter emerge unscathed. You must tread carefully, for the garden holds many secrets and not all of them are meant to be uncovered. With a nod of acknowledgement, Ursus and his companions set off once more, their hearts filled with a mix of anticipation and trepidation as they ventured deeper into the heart of the Garden of Whispers. Little did they know that their journey was far from over, and that the trials that lay ahead would test their courage, their resilience, and their belief in the power of friendship. As Prince Ursus and his companions ventured deeper into the Garden of Whispers, they found themselves surrounded by a sense of tranquility, unlike anything they had ever experienced. The air was filled with the soft hum of insects and the gentle rustle of leaves, and the scent of flowers hung heavy on the breeze. But amidst the serenity, there was an undercurrent of tension, a feeling that they were being watched by unseen eyes. Ursus couldn't shake the feeling that there was something more to this place than met the eye, something waiting to be discovered amidst the beauty and tranquility. Their journey led them to the heart of the garden, where they found themselves standing before a shimmering fountain surrounded by lush foliage. The water danced and sparkled in the sunlight, casting rainbows of color across the surrounding landscape. What is this place? Scurry asked in awe, its eyes wide with wonder as it gazed upon the fountain. This is the Fountain of Memories, Oakfeather explained, its voice filled with reverence. A place where the past and the present converge, and the secrets of the garden are laid bare. Ursus felt a sense of anticipation building within him as he approached the fountain, his heart pounding with excitement at the prospect of what lay ahead. He reached out to touch the water, and as his paw made contact with the surface, he felt a strange sensation wash over him. Suddenly, images began to swirl and coalesce in the water, memories from his past flashing before his eyes like scenes from a long-forgotten dream. He saw his family, his kingdom, 
and the events that had led him to this moment, each image more vivid than the last. But amidst the memories, there was also pain and sorrow, moments of loss and heartache that threatened to overwhelm him. Ursus felt a lump form in his throat as he relived the pain of his past, but amidst the darkness, there was also a glimmer of hope, a determination to press on despite the challenges that lay ahead. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, the vision faded, leaving Ursus standing before the fountain with a renewed sense of purpose. I understand now, he declared, his voice filled with conviction. My past may be filled with pain and sorrow, but it has also shaped me into the person I am today. I will not let it hold me back any longer. I am ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead, for I know that with courage and determination, anything is possible. As Prince Ursus and his companions continued their journey through the Garden of Whispers, they soon came upon a mysterious maze hidden amidst the foliage. The hedges loomed tall and imposing, casting long shadows that danced in the flickering light of the setting sun. What is this place? Scurry asked, its voice tinged with apprehension as it gazed upon the maze before them. This is the maze of shadows, Oakfeather explained, its voice hushed with reverence. A labyrinth of darkness and deception, where the truth is obscured by the shadows. Ursus felt a shiver run down his spine as he surveyed the maze a sense of foreboding settling over him like a dark cloud. He knew that their journey through the maze would not be easy, and that the trials they faced would test their courage and resolve like never before. But despite the dangers that lay ahead, Ursus was determined to press on. With Oakfeather leading the way, they entered the maze, their senses on high alert for any sign of danger. The hedges loomed tall and imposing, their twisted branches casting eerie shadows that seemed to dance and shift with every step they took. Ursus felt a sense of disorientation wash over him as they ventured deeper into the maze, the path ahead twisting and turning in on itself like a tangled web. But amidst the darkness, there were also moments of clarity, flashes of light that illuminated the path ahead and guided them through the labyrinth of shadows. With each step they took, Ursus felt a sense of determination building within him, a resolve to overcome whatever obstacles lay in their path. And then, just when they thought they had navigated the worst of the maze, they came upon a final challenge unlike anything they had faced before. A figure emerged from the shadows, its form shrouded in darkness as it blocked their path. Who dares intrude upon my domain? The figure demanded, its voice echoing through the maze with a chilling intensity. Ursus stepped forward, his heart pounding in his chest as he faced the mysterious figure before him. We mean you no harm, he declared his voice steady despite the fear that threatened to consume him. We seek only the truth about my family and our quest. Can you help us? The figure regarded Ursus and his companions with a gaze that seemed to pierce straight through to their souls. And then, to their surprise, it stepped aside, allowing them to continue on their journey. Go, the figure intoned solemnly. Your quest is not yet over. But remember, the shadows hold many secrets and not all of them are meant to be uncovered. With a nod of acknowledgement, Ursus and his companions pressed on, their hearts filled with a renewed sense of determination as they ventured deeper into the heart of the maze. Little did they know that their journey was far from over, and that the trials that lay ahead would test their courage, their resilience, and their belief in the power of friendship. As Prince Ursus and his companions emerged from the maze of shadows, they found themselves standing at the entrance of a vast cavern hidden deep beneath the earth. The air was cool and damp, and the sound of dripping water echoed through the darkness. What is this place? Scurry asked, its voice tinged with awe as it gazed upon the cavern before them. This is the Crystal Caverns, Oakfeather explained, its voice filled with reverence, a labyrinth of crystalline beauty and treacherous depths where the secrets of the earth are hidden from prying eyes. Ursus felt a sense of wonder wash over him as he stepped into the cavern, his eyes wide with amazement at the sight before him. The walls glittered and shimmered with a thousand colors, casting rainbows of light across the surrounding landscape. But amidst the beauty, there was also danger lurking in the shadows. Ursus knew that the crystal caverns were filled with pitfalls and traps, and that the trials they faced would test their courage and resilience like never before. With Oakfeather leading the way, they ventured deeper into the cavern, their senses on high alert for any sign of danger. 
The ground beneath their feet was uneven and slippery, and the air grew colder with each step they took. But despite the challenges they faced, Ursus and his companions pressed on, their determination unwavering in the face of adversity. They navigated through winding tunnels and treacherous chasms, their hearts filled with a sense of purpose as they searched for the answers they sought. And then, just when they thought they had overcome the worst of the cavern's challenges, they came upon a final trial that would test their strength and resolve like never before. A massive chasm stretched out before them, its depths shrouded in darkness as it seemed to stretch on into infinity. We must cross the chasm if we are to continue our journey, Oakfeather explained, its voice filled with urgency. But beware, for the path ahead is treacherous, and the slightest misstep could spell disaster. Ursus nodded sullenly, steeling himself for what lay ahead. With a deep breath, he stepped forward and began to make his way across the narrow ledge that spanned the chasm, his heart pounding in his chest as he braced himself for the challenges that lay ahead. With each step he took, Ursus felt a sense of determination building within him, a resolve to overcome whatever obstacles stood in his path. And as he reached the other side of the chasm, he felt a surge of pride wash over him, knowing that he and his companions had faced the challenges of the Crystal Caverns with courage and resilience. As Prince Ursus and his companions ventured deeper into the Crystal Caverns, they found themselves faced with a challenge unlike any they had encountered before. At the heart of the caverns stood a towering figure, its form obscured by the shimmering light of the crystals that surrounded it. What is that? Scurry whispered, its voice barely above a breath as it gazed upon the figure before them. That is the guardian of the caverns, Oakfeather explained, its voice filled with reverence. A being of ancient wisdom and boundless power, tasked with safeguarding the secrets of the earth, Ursus felt a sense of awe wash over him as he approached the guardian, his heart pounding with anticipation at the prospect of what lay ahead. He knew that the guardian held the answers they sought, and that their journey through the crystal caverns had led them to this moment. As they stood before the guardian, it spoke in a voice that seemed to echo through the cavern like a distant thunderstorm. Who dares disturb the sanctity of the crystal caverns? The guardian intoned, its words carrying the weight of centuries of wisdom. We mean you no harm, Ursus declared, his voice steady despite the fear that threatened to consume him. We seek only the truth about my family and our quest. Can you help us? The guardian regarded Ursus and his companions with a gaze that seemed to pierce straight through their souls. And then, to their surprise, it spoke again. To prove yourselves worthy of the truth you seek, you must answer a riddle, the guardian said cryptically. Fail and you shall never uncover the secrets of the earth. Ursus felt a sense of trepidation wash over him as he waited for the guardian to pose its riddle. He knew that their success depended on their ability to solve it, and that failure was not an option. And then, with a solemn nod, the guardian spoke, Speak my name, and I shall disappear. What am I? Ursus furrowed his brow in concentration as he pondered the riddle, his mind racing with possibilities. He knew that the answer held the key to unlocking the secrets of the Crystal Caverns, and that they could not afford to fail. And then, suddenly, it came to him, the answer to the Guardian's riddle. Silence, Ursus declared confidently, his voice ringing out with conviction. The Guardian regarded Ursus with a knowing gaze, its expression unreadable as it considered his answer. And then, to their relief, it nodded in acknowledgement, Correct, the guardian declared, its voice echoing through the cavern like a triumphant roar. You have proven yourselves worthy of the truth you seek. Go forth, brave travelers, and may the knowledge you seek bring you wisdom and understanding. With a sense of relief washing over them, Ursus and his companions stepped away from the guardian, their hearts filled with gratitude for the guidance it had provided. And as they continued on their journey, they knew that their quest was far from over, but that with courage and determination, anything was possible. As Prince Ursus and his companions ventured deeper into the Crystal Caverns, they felt a sense of anticipation building within them. They knew that they were drawing closer to the heart of the enchantment, where the truth about Ursus's family and their quest awaited them. The air grew colder as they journeyed deeper into the caverns, and the sound of dripping water echoed off the walls like a haunting melody. But despite the eerie atmosphere, 
Ursus and his companions pressed on, their determination unwavering in the face of adversity. Finally, they arrived at a chamber unlike any they had seen before. The walls were adorned with intricate carvings and shimmering crystals that cast a soft, ethereal glow across the room. And at the center of it all stood a pedestal, upon which rested a single, glowing orb. What is that? Scurry asked, its voice filled with wonder as it gazed upon the orb before them. That is the heart of the enchantment, Oakfeather explained, its voice hushed with reverence. A source of untold power and ancient wisdom, said to hold the key to unlocking the secrets of the earth. Ursus felt a sense of awe wash over him as he approached the pedestal, his heart pounding with excitement at the prospect of what lay ahead. He knew that the orb held the answers they sought, and that their journey through the crystal caverns had led them to this moment. As Ursus reached out to touch the orb, a surge of energy washed over him, filling him with a sense of clarity and purpose. Images flashed before his eyes, memories from his past, and visions of the future yet to come. But amidst the chaos, there was also a sense of peace, a feeling of connection to something greater than himself. Ursus knew that he had found what he was looking for, and that the truth about his family and their quest was finally within his grasp. With a sense of determination burning within him, Ursus turned to his companions, a confident smile spreading across his face. We have found what we seek, he declared, his voice filled with conviction. With the power of the heart of the enchantment, we can uncover the truth about my family and our quest. Let us not waste another moment. Our destiny awaits. With the truth about his family and their quest finally revealed, Prince Ursus felt a sense of peace wash over him. He knew that his journey had been long and arduous, filled with trials and challenges that had tested his courage and resolve. But through it all, he had emerged stronger and more determined than ever before. As Ursus and his companions made their way out of the crystal caverns, they were greeted by the warm light of the sun shining down upon them. The air was filled with the sweet scent of wildflowers, and the sound of birdsong filled their ears as they ventured back into the wilderness. It feels good to be outside again, Scurry remarked, its voice filled with joy as it took in the beauty of the world around them. Ursus couldn't help but agree. After spending so long in the darkness of the crystal caverns, the sight of the sun shining overhead filled him with a sense of hope and renewal. But amidst the joy, there was also a sense of sadness, for Ursus knew that their journey was coming to an end. He had uncovered the truth about his family and their quest, but now he faced the daunting task of returning home to face the challenges that awaited him. As they made their way back through the enchanted forest, Ursus couldn't shake the feeling of uncertainty that gnawed at him from within. He knew that the road ahead would not be easy, and that there would be many obstacles to overcome before he could reclaim his rightful place as prince. But amidst the uncertainty, there was also a sense of hope, for Ursus knew that he was not alone. With his friends by his side and the wisdom of Oakfeather to guide him, he was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead with courage and determination. And so, dear listeners, our brave young hero's adventure came to a close as he returned home, his heart filled with a sense of purpose and determination. With the truth about his family and their quest finally revealed, he was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead on his quest for truth and redemption. And as he looked towards the horizon, he knew that no matter what the future held, he would face it with courage and resilience, for he was Prince Ursus, heir to the throne, and nothing could stand in his way. As our time in Storytime Haven draws to a close, we bid adieu to the characters and worlds that have captured our hearts. But fret not, for the spirit of storytelling lingers on, ready to beckon us back into its embrace whenever we so desire. Until we meet again, may the echoes of our shared tales inspire you to dream, to explore, and to believe in the magic that resides within each and every one of us. Farewell for now, dear listeners, and may your imaginations forever soar in the vast expanse of story. <laughs>